Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of The Return. Today we are eight weeks out. Now I remember a couple of videos ago I said I can't wait to be eight weeks out feeling like shit. Do I feel like shit? Kinda, a little bit. Um, I'm definitely feeling it. It's currently 6.40 and we're just getting the first steps in of the day together with this one. Good morning. I like to now on my lower days and my pool days I don't have my fasted cardio so then I do my steps fasted about an hour of walk and then I have my breakfast today we got a lower day together with some pool so we'll be filming that for you guys as well as some of the adjusted meals for today eight weeks out guys let's go getting it in I really enjoy these fasted walking sessions in the morning when I when I go by myself I usually listen to some relaxing music maybe even some classical music and it's a form of meditation too stress management which are all very important things on prep and just look at the view some nature it's important to go out in nature sometimes good for your soul back from the walk it's currently 7 30 and i just wanted to show you what 17 weeks of prep on high steps will do to your shoes and these were perfectly fine before now they're gonna go in the trash so we're back now i'm gonna take a shower have meal one meal one still the same so i won't bother you guys with that and then i'll see you guys for the pre-workout meal which has changed a little bit all right so i just did another round of steps it's currently 10 20 and it's time for the pre-workout meal the pre-workout meal has been lowered a little bit so we got oats still but instead of 90 grams now we got 80 grams um, and then we still have the other ingredients which is chocolate cookie spices and then today i'm feeling like flavor drops butter biscuit flavor make it a cookie flavor and then also the berries were 150 grams now they're 100 grams and then after we got a shake which we got a new flavor today so we're gonna do a taste test so that'll be fun okay so this is the mix spices are in there salt is in there so I usually stir it up now as the amount of oatmeal gets lower I like to add a little bit more water and slightly overcook the oats because then the volume gets bigger so I'll show you what that looks like when it's done we'll pop that in for four minutes and then just wait when in prep microwave times take longer for like that's what i feel it's almost done all right okay so this this will need another minute because it's too watery All right, so look at that, that's good. Nice and volumized. Then what I do is, while it's still hot, I add in the chocolate so it melts. Then it's flavor drop time. Three or four squirts of that. We'll start with three. Then, Add in the berries. I hate it when the big ones come out. It's just a little bit too much. Not too small. Alright, that's good. Give it a stir. Mix it. Now this might not look very nice, but I can assure you it tastes amazing. Then we add a little bit more cookie spices on top and there we have it so this is gonna go down now and then after this we'll make the shake and do the taste test all right so for the shake we have this one peanut butter whey now i've never had peanut butter whey uh, but i hear from a lot of people that it should be good so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna add 
250 mils of water in the shaker and add some ice cubes into there make it nice and cold and then two scoops of this and I'll be with you guys to share my thoughts okay, so here we go for the taste test first time drinking peanut butter whey not bad it's actually pretty rich and it really does have that kind of jiffy peanut butter taste American peanut butter so it's good I like it we'll finish this and then we'll go to train lower and pool so see you guys there all right so here we go the leg and pool day we started as always with adductors Usually I'd have a set of 8 to 12 and 12 to 15, but because I cannot load the pin anymore, I did high rep sets and just made sure I hit failure between 6 and 30 reps and did that for two sets straight. After this, we went on to do leg extensions. Three sets here, two of 8 to 12 and one of 12 to 15. Now these weeks I do feel a little bit lower in energy but then I remind myself that this is actually where the work is done this is where you win or lose when you go into those sessions those sessions you don't feel like you have the energy for this is actually where you got to put your mind into it and just grind out whatever you can and this is also where the logbook really comes in hand because it reminds you of your previous performance and it just makes sure that no matter what you do you're gonna try to beat those numbers or at least maintain those numbers so we did three sets here after this we went on to do lying hamstring curls we did two sets one of six to nine and one of eight to twelve hamstrings are for me more of a focus point than quads but this is more a quad focus day we just touch on hamstrings a little bit but I also train hamstrings with my other pool day during the week. After this, we went on to our compound movement, which is a hack squat. So I took out any free weight back squats right now, as today I was also kind of hurting in my right glute, which kind of impeded me to go full out, especially on the hack squats, because I felt it in the bottom. And then also my previous lower day was last week, after I had my two high days, so my energy was much higher last week. And I felt that in the hex squats this week. So we did one set of six to nine, and I did 200 kilos here. And eventually uh, I had to have a spot to grind out two more, so I got the seven reps eventually. And then the back of set was 150 kilos, and the goal here was to do 10 to 14 reps. Both of these sets felt pretty heavy. Now, in this phase usually in my off season i don't wear a lot of like knee wraps or wrist wraps or anything like this but in this phase where you know we're drying out we're manipulating estrogen water is water content is coming down uh, the joints are a little bit more dry i make sure i protect them especially on my heavy sets so as you can see i use my knee wraps on my heavy set but i don't use them on my back off set because I still try to get everything out of myself there. Because when I wear the knee straps, I, I do feel that I have more power, especially coming out of that bottom position. And that's actually the part you wanna overload the most within a hex squat. But for the sake of injury prevention and just keeping my joints healthy, I added them on for my top set here. After this, we had one set on the hammer strength hip press, quad focused, just one set of actually 15 to 20 so last week after my two high days i was able to do 200 kilos for 15 reps straight i tried to match that this day and i only got the 10 reps so i made sure that i did um, a, a rest pause set and eventually matched reps now is it the smartest thing to do rest pause sets when you're eight weeks out from a fatigue management standpoint no but then again i do not want to give in on my numbers and I do want to feel like I, I gave everything so to me that's worth it and I did it and it felt great after this we went on to 
standing calf raises one set of 12 to 15 but I got a bit higher reps because I'm maxing out the weight there and then we did a, a second set which was a rest pause set um, aiming for failing at 12 reps initially um, I failed I believe at 11 reps but um, then you wait you take five breaths you go again to failure you wait you take five breaths you go again to failure and that was legs done then we went on to do back single arm hammer pull downs now this is the stack loaded machine usually i'll do the plate loaded machine but that one was occupied so we did the stack loaded machine two sets here single arm upper lat focused and from there on we went into lat pull downs i switched that exercise this week usually i would do rows but i felt like doing a little bit more upper lat work this week so I did three sets of lat pull downs, one heavy set, and then two back off sets. Where we're focusing a little bit more on blood flow. And that was back done, back and legs done. After this, we did some posing, post workout, and uh, got home. Back from training, and it's time for the post workout meal. It's currently 3 p.m. So I changed my post workout meal. Instead of having cereal and rice, I changed all that all those carbs to creamer rice or rice flour uh, baby rice it's also called because then I can have a massive bowl just with water and next to it I'll have my chicken I can also swap that out for protein powder if I want to but I'd rather have chicken so I can chew more food so it's gonna be a big ass bowl of this 145 grams and this stuff weighs nothing so you can see how much that is It's almost a full package. That'll do. I have seven grams of salt, so I'm gonna put three in here and four on my chicken. Can't forget about the cookie spices. So stir that up. Perfect. I'm gonna warm this up for four minutes. Again, this might not look nice, but it tastes amazing. It's just chicken. Looks like cat food, but I assure you it's chicken. In the bowl of creamer rice, we have half a banana, and I'm gonna put some peanut butter flavor drops in there. So you might notice the theme here. I'm a big fan of peanut butter. However, when I'm in prep, I can't have actual peanut butter, I can't have it in the house because I'm gonna fucking finish the top at some point. So I don't wanna run that risk. Therefore, I'm avoiding it right now. And it's it's any nut butter, like almond butter, cashew butter, doesn't matter, it's just a trigger food for me. So if you know something's a trigger food for you, make sure you don't have that in a caloric deficit when you're deep into prep because this will put you at a risk you don't want half banana in there and mix that up and then top it off again with some more cookie spices so that's what the post workout meal looks like right now I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys back for a prep update as to how things are going right now, where we're going, what the goal is for the next coming, I'd say, six weeks. Because I'm eight weeks out from my competition, but I also have a photo shoot planned in seven weeks' time. So that's one week before my competition. So we're seven weeks out from the photo shoot. So December or, or September is coming up right now, and September is going to be the month where we will go fucking deep so ready for it the next updates will be on tuesday with callum so as of tuesday there'll probably be more adjustments right now i'm just trying to strip a layer off each week and as far as now we've managed to do so hunger is, is creeping up energy levels are slowly dropping now i can feel it in my training but I'm, i have my logbook and I'm still trying to push my numbers there, so that's what we're doing right now. 
first eat and I'll be back with you guys soon. The post-workout meal is in and I crashed a little bit but it's in we got two more meals coming up today um, the last meal has been lowered to 50 grams of oats so calories have been dropped this week next to that we introduced some t3 as well so we don't we at the moment we have t4 and t3 both on an hrt doses so we're not taking anything above natural levels there we're just supporting the thyroid and making sure that it keeps running where we want it to as we lower calories as we lower body fat because this is what you can you call energy availability so you have your body fat you have your intake and you have your output and if body fat's dropping your intake is dropping and your output is high that means you have low energy availability once the body starts sensing this it will naturally bring your thyroid production down um, th that's the survival mechanism of the body so by supplying the body with normal amounts of t3 and t4 we're making sure that doesn't happen and we keep metabolism running there seven weeks out from my photo shoot and eight weeks out from my competition now the photo shoot is just going to happen and we're not necessarily going to peak for that or something it's all about the competition here but i do keep it in mind so over the next four to six weeks we're we're gonna be at our deepest and to be honest, I'm feeling it now. Um, every single night, I'm dreaming about some food, weirdly. Sleep has been a little bit um, affected. So what I'm using right now is this product by Redcon. It's called Fade Out. It has five milligrams of melatonin in there and a lot of other stuff that helps sleep onset so this helps me fall asleep and stay asleep because if sleep starts to suffer you can be assured that training progress will will stall you can be assured that you're at a higher chance for losing muscle tissue especially coming down into the lower body fat levels and you'll just be more fatigued throughout the day so if you can somehow safeguard your sleep and make sure that doesn't happen this is going to be a massive benefit so that's why we have a sleep aid in for now and make sure we keep that in throughout this process i'm excited for the next coming weeks i'm ready to push like i said coming tuesday i have to send new updates and then we'll probably get new adjustments for the coming week no high days this week just keep digging we, we're, we're focusing on pulling off one layer of body fat every single week right now and the main focus for me is going to be getting conditioned from the back because the front is coming off quite easy but the back really has to come down so we want to get stripes all the way from my glutes to my calves up to my upper back so the whole backside has to be shredded and we're going to have to dig hard for that and that's just something that's going to have to happen so i'm prepared for that mentally um, but it's still it's going to be tough i hope you guys are enjoying the journey this has already been vlog number 14 off the top of my head so we've been consistently showing you every week what we've been doing and we're going to keep doing that for the coming weeks and we're also going to keep doing that in the off season and show you guys how we're going to grow because again the goal is not just to do this competition the goal is to come back this year to return show who i am show what i'm capable of both to myself and everybody else and after that our vision is on becoming an ifbb pro hopefully within the next five years so we're gonna have to work hard for that i reckon i need about 15 to 20 kilos of stage weight uh, on top of what i'm gonna have now in order to make a chance so that's gonna be a big ass off season lots of growth lots of fun but for now we're focused in on this competition trying to come in as shredded as we can and as full as we can and the coming weeks are gonna have to show this so stay tuned very very excited and i hope you guys are also enjoying this now i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day get some more steps in get my meals in make sure i win this day make sure i make the progress i need to be making it's gonna be 56 days to go tomorrow so i'm counting down but i make sure every single day counts as well i'm not just counting the days that's important too so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to comment like and subscribe and i see you guys next week when we're seven weeks out from the show and six weeks out from the photo shoot peace